Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on sticks. I am, I'm holding... And we're playing Man 2049ers. Man 2049ers. That's what I said. I know, right? <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Who are you, Mel? Just repeat what I say. <laughs> Freaking uh, Madden <laughs> Niner Niner Nights. Madden Niner Nights, San Francisco! Dude, I want Ooh. it all. Brand new socks and draws? That is a... <laughs> Wait, what was his name? Warren G. My mom used to make fun of me because I was I bought a Warren G album. The first one? It was the one with uh, regulators it was on a good it. Taste back in the day, right? I used to listen to that when I was a kid. Um, and then I don't know if it was the same album, but I bought another Warren G album. It had a song called "I Want It All," and he'd be like, "I want it all, brand new socks and draws," and I'm bawling every time I stop and talk to y'all. I think it was like Nate Dogg would say that part yeah. or whatever. Classic. And my mom was like, she hated that song. She was <laughs> like, "Why does he want new socks and draws?" Well, I mean, who doesn't want new socks and draws? I want some clean socks and some clean draws. Yo, I'm a big sock man. My draws, a little sketchy. So not gonna like lie. You, you put all your effort into your socks. I'm not gonna. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm, Jonas, all right. I, <laughs> I think you told me this before, but tell the world. I I still have underwear from high school. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, bro. They're like fifteen bucks for five pairs. I know, dude. But they, you know. They, they, they have, still have cloth? <laughs> I don't... I, I, I might I, be wearing them right now. <laughs> oh, wow. I definitely do not have boxes. What? You don't? How often, how often should a, a normal person purchase new I'm underwear? I'm probably not normal either. I, um, what I do is I just like... As as they get beat up or get like a hole or tear, like I as I'm like, oh, I don't have that many pairs. I buy a new pack. So then, so, like, and I just throw them in the rotation. All right. So wait a minute. First off, how are you beating up your draws? They just get beat up from like being used. All right. I wouldn't necessarily use the term beat up because it sounds a little non consensual. <laughs> like I beat, like, with my own draws? <laughs> yeah, man. Wow, dude, this is your draws. Don't mean you can just go around beating them up. Whatever that means. Uh, what, and so if they have a hole, you throw them out. Hole in the crotch, get them out of here. For the most part, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I think so. I think I have a pair right now that has, like, a little tear down by the by the edge, by, like, where it would be on, where going down your thigh. Don't point to your anatomy when, when you do it. <laughs> I, I think, I but it. I don't, yeah, I mean, I, for the most part. I get it. All right. So how big does the hole have to be? Tiny hole, you're like, mm. Oh, He's probably got about hole, five more. In the crotch at all, I just get rid of them because really? I have enough pairs, dude. Okay, fair enough. You yeah. don't you don't have any sentimental connection to the. I have, I have really basic boxers, man. I don't care. I also the other thing too with me is that I fluctuated in weight so much no, yeah, that like true. I had to buy bigger boxers and then they just don't fit and I had to get rid of them because I needed smaller boxers. Yeah. So so like that's part of the reason. But I usually hold on to them until they they break down. Yeah. For the most part. It's funny because uh, when I was going to the gym, like, religiously, I had a pair of boxers that I just could not wear. They were just too big. Yeah. And I kept them around. I fit in them bad boys now. And I, <laughs> I don't now know. who's the smart one? I don't one? know if that's something to be proud of. But no. Yes. Now who's the smart one? Right. I hung on to those boxers. Oh, no, I, I did that before. Like, I, 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 I gained a bunch of weight. And when I lost all the weight, I kept the fat guy clothes. And then, oh, I went back and fit in them boys Thank again. You. <laughs> right? And then I felt terrible about myself. No, 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 no. That's that's future future Passed Jonas looking, looking, out. Out. <laughs> yeah, looking out for Jonas. Yeah, right, man. dude? Yeah, I yeah. was, uh, yeah, I was not happy with it. But then, but then I kept all my small clothes. And then as I lost weight, I fit back into all of them again. And now all of those clothes are too big. Yes. All of the clothes that I had are too big. So I've had to spend a ton of money. Uh, in you, you don't know how many clothes I got in there. When I finally do decide to like get back on that horse, Jonas, I've got outfits for days that, that you I, can't that I can't even wear right now. Hey, dude. But I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna. Hey, dude, with... you'll be like, this was in style in 05, boys. What up? Because <laughs> I know you're all about styling what looks I good. Know. 
<laughs> you should literally go through there and, and just see, like, you're holding on to it for it to make its comeback 15 years later. <laughs> I remember when this was in style in 97. Oh. Shoot, it's 2020 <laughs> now, boys. It's back in style. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not going to be that guy. I uh, Oh, my God. I might be that guy. Dude, I had, <laughs> I I had this pair of pants. This is a, this is a, a funny story. Like, I don't know. I guess I don't know if funny is the right word. But I had this, like, I had, like, back in, like, 09. I had lost a bunch of weight, and I bought this pair of shorts um, at, like, Marshalls or something. Oh, and I was, like, boo. and I was, like, and, but it was smaller than what I, uh, what I currently wore. And I was, like, all right, I'm going to fit into these. This is going to be my next goal. Yep. Well, I never made it, and I gained a bunch of weight back. And uh, not long ago, I finally got down to where that pair of shorts not only fit, but was a little too big. Yeah. And I looked at, I put it on, I looked at it in the mirror, and I was like, why the hell would I ever wear this? And I immediately put it in a bag to take to the Goodwill. But I hit the goal. Like, the goal was hit. What kind of shorts there were they? were, like, they? these, like, weird, like, um, it was back, like, when, like, those plaid shorts were really, like, in. Oh! But it was, like, it was, like, pre-plaid pad short. It was, and they were, like, I don't know, dude. And they were really long. They were, like. The long shorts. They were, like, long plaid. Caprice. Dude, they were, like. Male but they caprice. were wide at the bottom. It was, like, we're, like, oh, a skort. They, what? <laughs> How are they capri flares? I don't know, dude. It was so. How I are they like, boot-cut capri I flares? I literally was, like. Why the hell did I ever think that I would wear these ever anywhere? <laughs> but they fit, and I was happy about it. Then they immediately went to the Goodwill. So I was like, well, they're in a bag right over here to go to the Goodwill. But yes. Oh, fair, man. But yeah. I was like, but they fit. And that was like an exciting day. And then I was like, what the hell am I doing to myself with these pants? I remember buying myself clothes like that and having clothes that are too small and then like getting up to the point that I could fit them. Right. Had a sim similar story with a pair of shorts from Marshall and they were plaid. They were like white and they had like blue and black patch yeah. plaid stripes on. Yeah, yeah. Finally lost enough weight to get into the shorts. Bend over. The motherfuckers ripped in the A. Oh, like the first time you put them Yo, on? I was so mad so like mad you had that like gratification of getting yeah, there yeah like it took me a couple weeks but i was like i'm gonna get into these shorts <laughs> i was like f that i'm getting into these shorts ripped the first day i had them i was oh, not happy yeah, yeah, oh yeah 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 i'd be, I'd be unhappy about that too. i mean looking back I, I would never wear those shorts now <laughs> it's amazing how your tastes change too man yeah well sometimes like especially if you're a bigger guy you're a victim of like taking what you can get because like yeah, yeah. i don't for those of you who don't know the big men's style catalog is not big designers do not make uh clothes in larger sizes than like xl double xl maybe uh, double uh, xl yeah, like. maybe. And, but there's certain brands that kind of stylize to that and yeah. there's others that don't at like, all you'll never yes. you'll never find a 2x abercrombie shirt they yeah. don't i think in the sad part is i don't I don't think they want large people wearing their brand. They, I think they want their brand associated with smaller people. We'll see people. But Abercrombie? Yeah. I, did, I didn't know that was a thing. I think like a lot of those type of stores, American <laughs> Eagle, like those Whoa, sort of like. Really? I think I don't think they make see, anything. I think the like the largest pant size they make is like a thirty six waist, and I think it's like an XL shirt. That's holy like crap, Jonas! You are honestly opening my. I've never been in any of these. I've never been in either any of them either. Oh, but, like, but you do know. But yeah, they're just like certain stores, or maybe I've popped in to just walk through or something. And like, see, and I was thinking like I you can't find a babe shirt in like over two X or like. Even like uh, like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or anything like that, like the more exotic designers, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, you're not gonna find any of those in your size and either. I, and you know, and I think you're right now. That that I think it's because they don't want big people wearing their clothes. Yeah. And they, if you don't, I mean, I'm sure if you were a big dude and you contacted the Louis Vuitton company, like I'm willing to pay, make me a three X Louis Vuitton shirt, they would do it <laughs> because money talks. And then I'm going to be like, you're looking kind of crazy in that big ass. <laughs> <laughs> big old, you got LV all over it looking like, like a... You're looking kind of crazy. Yeah, but like... Um, but yeah, I think I think that might be it because they want certain types of people wearing their clothes. Yeah, yeah. wow, that's crazy. I, I never, I, yeah, that. I just made that association, but I think that's true. Yeah, that very well could be the thing. And then you get companies that are just like, we want people to buy our stuff, period. We don't care. Which I feel like is the better. But I guess if you're already financially set, man, like... Yeah, I mean, if you're selling shirts Abercrombie for $100, like, you can be money. specific about who you want to buy them. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Because you're making a lot of money off that shirt. Because you know it ain't cost them $100 to make that shirt. It's, you're paying for the brand name. <laughs> you, do you own anything just for the brand name, Jones? I don't care about brand names at all. See, I used to I used to be like a, a big Nike guy. I used to always like I used to always have on a pair of Air Forces. White Air Forces were my favorite. And then I got to a certain age and I was like, you know what? I really like these polo uh what kind of shoes do I wear, Jones? I don't know. My polo my, po- <laughs> my polo loafers. <laughs> I don't know just being an ass. I don't know. They might be loafers. They might be, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I bought like one pair and I was like, I really like these. They're comfortable, they look adult. Uh I can fit them with street wear, I can fit them with uh office wear. Right, 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 right. They're very like, versatile. Yes. So then I just started buying up polo loafers. And now I haven't seen a pair of Air Force Ones in like 10 years. Right. Probably yeah. not that long. but Yeah. I mean, well, I used to wear a ton of uh, Echo, but not so much because I liked it. It was because I was a big dude and like it was like uh, it, it was readily available. The clothes were well made. Like it was like well made fabric and like it they made it in like 2X and things like that. So I was like, well, here we go. Like. It wasn't so much because I was like a huge fan of the brand or anything. It was like, it was more circumstantial than anything else. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, but like, what, what's your style now? Whatever. I don't have one. <laughs> Joe's is a, a shorts and t-shirt guy. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm shorts and t-shirt. Like, so you- I'll uh, if I go out to like an event, I'll wear like a button up. I've seen you wear a couple buttons. Yeah, usually, usually if I go to an event, like mm-hmm. I'll wear a button up. Or if I want to go out, like, and look not just, like, shorts and a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. I F with the button-ups, man. Once yeah. I bought the polo shoes, I was like, well, I got to get a polo shirt. <laughs> got to. And then I was like, and then I should get some slacks. But I'm going to stick with these here jeans. Yeah, dude. So yeah, now I'm buttons, I, button up jeans. And yeah, pump. and I don't think I'll ever be the khaki guy, dude. I keep, no. Like, I look at, like, I look at that, like, polo uh-huh. shirt khaki loafers, and I'm like, no, nope, that will not be me. Yeah, like, oh, uh, no, no. Can't do it, dude. I don't even wear, ca- I wear shorts all the time because I'm, I'm very hot. So, like, I have to have my legs open or I get super hot. <laughs> Whoa. And, uh. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's Slow a- down there, girl. I got to have my legs open because <laughs> uh, I'm just but, so hot. Uh, I, I don't even wear khaki shorts. <laughs> like, so, like, I can't see myself well, wearing Thank God, khaki, man, because I'm pretty sure. That- You'd beat me up? <laughs> <laughs> I would have let you. <laughs> I don't think I could be friends with a man who wears khaki shorts. Yeah, dude, I just can't. I can't do it. I can't, no. I can't be the guy who just wears, like, I can do jeans, I guess. Like, it's now, just. Am I, I the know. only one that ever find it confusing how they always labeled, like, that kind of outfit as casual in, in <laughs> department stores? Yeah, dude. Like, It'd be like, get your casual wear. I'd be like, oh, yeah, jeans and T-shirts. <laughs> no. It's like a bunch of dockers and some like cheap button ups. I'm like, this is not casual. It's like it's business casual, but they don't say that. Like that's business casual. Like you wear it's, like a polo and khakis. That's to work. business casual. Yeah, because it's like it's still a little dressy, but it's like not shirt and tie. That's the kind of issue we wear to go to church. That's church clothes. As business far as casual, I'm, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it's casual it's, Fridays, bro. You wear your khakis and your loafers <laughs> and your button up. It's casual Friday. I'm wearing my Outcast shirt. <laughs> I'm wearing my nah, dude. I've I've, I've worked. Uh, I'm wearing I've worked my jeans with no pockets. That jeans with no pockets. Yeah, dude. It's just I don't know, dude. I think it's all. I don't know. I don't have a. I like. I do what I want. I just. If I'm going somewhere, I will wear shorts and a t-shirt. If I'm going somewhere and I want to not wear it, I won't do that. It's like unless I'm specified, I have to wear something. Certain. So, uh, need, needless to, to say that Jonas, me, and you don't go to places where we have to dress up to go. No. Where we would be looked down. It's like we're not going to the opera. We're if not. I did, I wear jeans and shorts. Yeah. Shorts yeah. and a t-shirt. We're not going to the Met Gala. Nah, dude, that ain't no. my jam. No. Like, and here's the thing, though. I, honestly, like, it, I'm starting to get to a size where, like, those clothes fit better and I can find more options. Um, but you don't want to go to those events. But I don't want to go to those events. <laughs> if, and, and the other thing is, too, I've been losing tons of weight over the last few years. So, like, I don't buy lots of clothes at a time. I buy a couple things and then I outgrow them and, or un- undergrow them, I guess. Well, it's, just, it's not in, I don't ingrown. Know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, they get too big. Yeah. So it's like I don't want to go 
buy a whole bunch of fancy like dress shirts and then have them not fit in a month. And see, and then that's and that then and that's kind of like that definition of some cost fallacy. It's like, well, I don't want to buy the clothes because I'm not where I'm gonna be. But then you would never end up getting the clothes, and that's how you end up with draws that you've had from high school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or pants with no pockets. Yeah. Well, my other thing is too, like I don't have to wear that for work. Like if I had to wear like a shirt and tie to work, I would have a ton of shirt and ties, and I'd probably wear them more often. That's true. But man. like you, you I don't can... even get dressed, do you? Uh, I like when I go out, I do. I usually just wear like gym shorts and a t-shirt at home. Most yeah, of the time. you don't even get dressed. I mean, I do that. I mean, we've talked about this way early on the podcast. Like, I, as soon as I get home, I change into like gym shorts and a t-shirt, even if I'm leaving in a while. I just don't like sitting around in like jeans and stuff. I hate it. Oh, okay. I'm I mean, how often have you seen me sit around this house in jeans? <laughs> I've seen you wear jeans a handful of <laughs> like, times. Yeah, right. yeah, I actually I'm more apt now than ever because I've like adapted to the cold. Where like I'm like I go outside in like 50 degrees. Well, it probably helps. I've lost a bunch of weight, and I'm like, I'm like, it's cold out here. <laughs> like mm-hmm. turn into a little bee. Dude, I don't know. I love jeans. I, I sleep in jeans. <laughs> How do you do that? I don't know because I still got like some 90s baggy jeans. <laughs> Does like those a- new jeans that I just bought, uh, I did just buy a bunch of ish from Fashion Nova. Those new jeans that I bought, like they're like Fashion straight. Fashion Nova hit us up. They're like, yeah, really. <laughs> they're like straight legs or whatever, or yeah. like skinnies, I guess, or whatever. Uh, I cannot stand having those on me while I'm stationary. If I'm walking around, they're fine. As soon as I like sit down and I'm not moving, There's I can just tight. feel them like on my legs, like hugging my thighs, and I'm just like, I hate that, dude. Ugh. I don't, I don't yeah. like it. Like if I have paint, if I have on like cloth below my knee, I just like I get warm. And I think it's because we grew up in the '90s in the Jinko era, where we we're just like, no, <laughs> I want to feel like I'm walking in a bubble. I don't of want air. anything <laughs> touching me. Yeah, and that's my clothes are baggy. Like yeah. when I realized that like I was wearing shirts one size too big, like. Once I put on a shirt that's the right size, I was like, it looks a thousand times better on me. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember my ex told me about this. She was like, why don't you just wear shirts that fit? I'm like, what are you talking this about? This does fit. This does. <laughs> and she's like, put on one size lower. And you're like, oh, oh, that's what it's supposed to do. I don't. It touches me, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's weird, dude. I don't want my I'm way better now, me. though. I do try to find clothes that fit. Though. I don't want my shirt touching me. Dude. I know, dude. I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> Why is the shirt touching me? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I guess that's just our, our problem. Yeah, because everything was like, I mean, we grew up in the era of like 80 inch around the bottom Jinkos. I remember. I had I owned a pair of Jinkos, maybe I two. not, because I don't think I could fit in any of them. <laughs> they didn't make big boy clothes back then. I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like I've seen you in Jinkos. I, I know for a fact I never owned a pair because I wanted them and I could not find any that fit Okay, properly. all right. Like, I know that for a fact because, oh, I would have had them. Trust me. I would have had yeah, them. Yeah, because everybody was wearing they them. They were awesome. I loved them. I, 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 was st- like, I was like that secret jealousy. I still have, like, mental images of Danielle. Young and those big jinkos. Oh yeah, because she was like the size of a twig yeah. and wore like the jinkos that literally were like four times as big as her body. Tiny dude. I just remember the legs being like larger. <laughs> it was like she's wearing a jean skirt dress. Yeah, and it did. It looked like a dress. That's it did. what it did. Yeah, but it, it was two it leg was holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, I remember that too. Yeah, there was tons of people like that. And I just I, I get that mental image because I remember just like seeing a picture. I get that mental image and I laugh to myself occasionally. Dude, my my hilarious. favorite was watching people with pants Ridiculous. that big try to hacky sack, and then they would like <laughs> hacky sack uh, and, and, and then their feet would get caught up in them big ass <laughs> big ass cuffs, and they would trip and stuff. And it would be so funny. Yo, if if you haven't hacky sack in in jinkos at home, you don't know what you're missing. Go buy some jinkos. Go find a hacky sack. I still have a hacky sack. I have the one from high school. I, I, I've always thrown it in a box. Like I have, it's the same one I practiced with as a child forever. Really? I have it. It's in my room. Yeah. I think I may have. If I look, I might still have a Pepsi hacky sack yeah. from the promotion. Yeah, I have a. I have one. I took some of the beads out, so it wasn't so full. Yeah. And it, it worked a lot better. Like I took, I took a, made a hole, took some of the beads out, reset it. I remember you doing that. And like it's I've known it's you for years. it's a Charlotte Hornets one because it's turquoise and purple and has a has a, oh a yellow dot God. on the top. Yeah, I remember. 
Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's I've known old you for school. too long. I know, right? But that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Uh, go look up hacky sack videos on the internet. For oh, Joe. I want them to get a hacky sack and some gene coals and <laughs> Fair. experience it. <laughs> for TNT Dynamite, we do it. Are out.